Yeah. Or something we're about to say. Probably. Or we're, yeah, exactly. I'm ready. <laughs> Hello, um. empty room. <laughs> Uh, well, now we'll have time. We can just talk about all of them. There you go. Mm -hmm. We won't use their names, but you and I will know who uh, we're talking about. Oh, we can't talk about Gail. Okay. Ain't talk about Terry. Ain't talk <laughs> about Ken. <laughs> You're coming in and out, Susan. That's because I have it resting on my chest. Oh, oh okay. I oh, can't you talk your, about Elvis. That was your internet or something. Okay, so yeah, so uh, um, how how was the anniversary? <laughs> was it a lucky anniversary? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's all kinds. <laughs> We knew you were there, Gail. Hey, Linda. So, so everybody else who got lucky last week on Elvis's anniversary, raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> everybody wanted to celebrate her. her hey, Dale. <laughs> we thought about you. Everybody. Everybody. Okay, I'm going to put. Okay, so I've been working on the. Uh, I got some additional orders. So I've been working on those. They are basically done. I just have to stuff everything. And they are ready, ready. Oh, but I think that goes in the other one. That goes in the big one. Where'd the big one go? I'm very confused. Let's put that in here. Let's put that in there, and we'll put these in here to play with, and this can go in here. Oh, no. Are you fixing to cook that now? Ugh. What's she cooking? Liver. Ugh. Yuck. That is pretty gross, I must say. Liver steaks. That's what I say. Ew, yuck, and bleh. <laughs> I'll just leave that in there. These papers in here. All of the little handmade papers are so cute. And there's so many. I got other stuff to put in here, but these are the things that I already have all cut up. So I'll be that much ahead. Oh, that goes in the package. What's that doing there? Oh well. Who knows? Who cares? Right? That's right. That's right. Okay, so. I forget what we did. I think this went here. I'm going by memory because I already mailed the other ones out. Watch, I'll have to watch my own video. <laughs> Won't be the first time. Now, how did that go? Let me go see the video. It doesn't matter because you guys can fix it up any way you want it. They're not in there like permanent or anything. So. My <laughs> mommy, just taste it. Just taste No, uh-uh. And then I taste it. <laughs> <laughs> For you. Put that there. I'm just gonna put that in there for now. You eat a beet, I'll eat a liver. in there. Oh, there's that. Oh, that's that's real paper. I mean, you know, handmade paper, so I can go there. I mean, everything's oh, real paper. But you that's know what? handmade paper? Say what? 
That's your handmade paper? Not mine. Don't 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 say that. And then people start saying, Oh, do you make handmade paper? Are you gonna no. sell paper? No, I don't. No, I don't. Handmade paper ain't nothing but good paper tore up and dried back together. That's right. Unless you make real handmade paper. But who does? I don't know. Not too many people. You probably couldn't afford that kind of paper anyway. I mean, I know I couldn't. Yeah, but I don't see nobody doing that, Gail. I see everybody tearing up completely good paper, wetting it, tearing it up, sticking it in their Oster blender. Can't have no more margaritas. <laughs> and then trying to piece it all back together to make paper. a piece of handmade paper. <laughs> Screw it. Just give me the margarita and a tablet. I'll be fine. What a concept, right? I know. I think I want to put this in here. I think I got more papers in here than I did in my other one. Maybe that's why this isn't all fitting. Oh, well. It's in there now. I think it's it like, oh, let me take this magazine and cut it all up and glue it back together the way I think it should look. <laughs> <laughs> Better yet, let's combine two or three magazines together. I did see, I don't know who it was. It was some lady. It was like a nine minute video where she took um, like a magazine picture of a bird. And then she took, she called them earbuds, but they were actually Q-tips. And she, um, she dipped the Q-tip in acetone. Mm -hmm. And then she put like um, stencils and textured stuff underneath the picture and she mm -hmm. laid the, the picture on top of this stuff and then she went over it with the Q-tip and it made the coolest design on her magazine page with that acetone. Cool. Okay. Okay, that's the beginning. I got to find the other stuff. There we go with that. Yay! I knew the, the Golden Bachelor was going to pick the one I didn't like. He, they always do. They always do. I know. Are they getting married? Yes. I saw a uh, headline about him accusing him of falsifying his, I guess, his background or I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it was all about, but they were accusing him of doing something shady. Lying, basically. <laughs> He's 72 years old. Leave him alone. Well, if you're 72, you should know not to be lying about stuff. People are going to find out. Plain stupid. And I think the lady he picked was 70. She just seemed too needy to me. Maybe he wants to be your, at Prince Charming. He wants somebody needy. There's a lot of guys like that. Because she would come home and tell the girls about her date. And, and this one lady that looked like Caitlyn Jenner, she uh -oh. said, shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to hear about what y'all did. We don't want to hear about your date. <laughs> oh, rude. Just zip it. <laughs> the whole time she was telling her, just zip it. <laughs> Hello. She was probably just uh, jealous. She was just jealous. Yeah. That's how it goes. That is how it goes. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. All I have is dog. 
I don't want to hear it. That goes in that bag. So that doesn't go there. And will that fit in there? Probably not. Might fit in here. Hello. Hello. Hey, that's okay. Okay, that's the beginning of that. Oh, and this goes in the front. Okay, now where do all these go? <laughs> Let's see. I know for sure these go together. I know that for sure. And where's the other one? Oh, then I know that goes in with this too. Let's just put it on top. Let's just put it on top to be different. We'll put that toward the middle. And then the black. The black with the rollout thing. Where did that go? Oh, there it is. Okay. So that goes in there. Hello. Okay. Here we go. And then that goes right there. And then, and then this goes here. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. And then. This. Oh, wrong one. This. We'll go back here. These are going to be fun to decorate. I'm looking forward to decorating those. And then this. This. Hold on. Is it this one? No. It's this paper. And that's the last one? No. Oh. One more. Whoops. What do you mean? Is that the last one? That I, I made? Thought said, I thought you said you already sent the rest out. This was the last one. Well, the last ones. Oh. One. Because I got special because I got special orders, so I'm filling those out. Okay, this goes right there. Because remember, I mentioned if anybody wants one, let me know. So if they let me know, that's what these are for. Let me get this over here. Oh, gosh. Okay. Lynn got a job at Joanne's. Uh oh, she's gonna know when all the sales are. That means we know where all her income's going. Income outcome. Oh, hello. Ah, Elvis. Well, that sounds even more better. More better. More better. Mo better. And that goes with that. And so this. 
Lots more better. More better. More, 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 more. That's a Momo. Oh, that active shooter is dead. Yeah, they killed him quite a while ago. Well, why did it just now pop up? I don't know. It popped up for me quite a while ago. Your popper's slower than my popper. My like. popper is slower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hold on. I gotta get my other stuff. So everything is together and then I'm I'll be El Finito with that anyway. And I find my other stuff I gotta put in there. Oh. Uh-oh. Where'd that come from? Oh no. <laughs> Where'd that come from? I just gotta make sure I have everything. What happened? Hmm? Some, somebody put me up on the screen. Hey, I wasn't even here. I know. Okay, so where did I, where did the other one fly off to? What did I do with it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So that goes in there. Oh, I already, what am I? Okay. Uh, I think this okay, is mine. So, Go ahead. So look at this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the one on the left is the lady from the Golden Bachelor, and then on the right is Chris Jenner. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, they do look This like is that. Caitlin Jenner. Yeah. And this is the other lady from the Bachelor. I so it's like know. they were on there as a couple. <laughs> I don't know. It seems very incestuous, the whole thing. <laughs> I don't think you want to talk about it. I saw that, Jen. That was wild. For me. Okay, now where is... Oh, wait. I am so confused. Oh, I didn't make that one up yet. Okay. Did you steal okay. those bags from Johnny? No. Okay. I've had these for years. No, hers are bigger and thicker. You can see hey, through mine. <laughs> you can practically see through mine. Okay. Okay. So that goes there. Okay. Let me. I, 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 I have to unconfuse myself. Okay. So the paper, these things, these, these thingamajiggers. Okay. So that and that and that. And this goes in there. What is that? What? That wasn't in the other stuff. Yeah, it was. What is it? Wh which one? That right there on the top. Remember you asked what these were and I told you that, you know, they were the size of the ATC cards and they say lightweight vellum, but it really is like hard as a rock. You know, I'm, I swear you used to remember everything. You're that little senile. I'm starting to worry about you. Remember? And you go, oh, that's pretty thick. Okay, I even remember what you said. Okay. You can't remember what you said, and I remember what you said. I don't know. It's very confusing. Okay. So <laughs> All right. That, that bag goes with that one. Even Carla remembers. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay, and that goes in there, and that makes that one complete. Okay. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, people. And then you got to start smelling that liver. Let me know, and I'll mute you. 
and then that goes there like that. Okay, so the only thing I lack in the bags, oh, I had to make a whole bag for that one. I do not understand how I lost a whole bag. <laughs> so I got to make that up right now before I forget. Uh, I need to put those in there somewhere too. Okay. So I need to get okay what needs to go in this bag over here i need to get uh oh do i have one i'll just have to sorry ladies i gotta talk to myself to get this done well okay so i need to get one of these that goes there Last one from that container. I have another container though. We gotta get one of those. That's your Scarlet Illustrator. And then, see, I gotta peek and see what's in here. I already forgot what's in here. I've got. Okay. Got it. So, I need a little plastic bag to put that in. You hanging in there, ladies? I think so. I think you're hanging in there. And then that is right there. That's what I think over here. And then, where's my other one? Oh, there's one right there. Okay. Oh, man. Turn the fan on. That Thank you. That was one. And then I need, they will get a little bag. Hey, oh. APG. I don't know what she's doing. Carla, like Carla said, she's in a business conference by herself. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying not to gag with the liver smell. Whoa, Timber. Man, and I've almost eaten my whole bowl of carry carry something butter. There. Then I'm gonna go get me a little bag. Oops, is there a bag in here? Oh no, no, there isn't. Carry gold butter. Yeah, that. Well, good to see you, APG. And in answer to your poll, you don't need to give us nothing. Just your wit and humor is enough. So. And then I have to get one of the graphites to go in there. Graphite, graphite. And now I have to get a tin. A tin to put where it does go now. Oops, that's not it. Oh, yeah, it is. One of those. We don't need your hand. That's done, too. That's 
go. Okay, here we go. Oh, ooh, pretty. You see my, my new title? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, now where did I put? Oh, I think it's in here. Was that in Las Vegas, Elvis? People are silly. Okay, I need to get a little tin. Hold on. Let me get this first. I know this goes here. I got to put these in. I think she's putting together an art journal or something, Anne. Yeah, these are the art journals that I sold last week or whenever it was. She only made four of. Yeah, and then I got some orders for some, so I'm making them up. I already made a couple of them. These are the last ones I had to do. So I made one extra. So they're all sold except for one. I'm going to go right there, right there. Yeah, okay. So I figure if people see them, some one might want one. So I only have one left. Oh, in your town. Great. There was um there was a shooting there in Texas. Six people got killed. Well, Elvis said that they had an active shooter speed through town, shot up the clock tower at the police station, took off, police behind chasing. He stops, gets out, fires, he's dead. Then wow. they had that one in Las Vegas today. They had one in Austin. Yeah, that's one I think I think I heard of. I don't know. It's crazy. Can't even leave the house anymore. <sighs> yeah, that one at the college in Vegas. Okay. So, okay, let me go get a tin so I can fill that up with this stuff. And then, and then, woohoo, I might be done. Hold on. It should be ready now if you cut a piece. Hmm? Go. That's crazy. People are crazy. People are crazy. Just live and let live. Oh, look who is talking. I ain't never kidding nobody. You are the most grudgiest person I know. Live and let live. Give me yeah, but I ain't gonna kill you just because I don't like you. <laughs> this is the dirty part. Whoa! The real dirty part. I have to break them to make them fit. Don't you know it, Gail? Okay. That's in there. Yay. Okay, this goes in here. With all those gizmos. Am I missing anything? Is that everything? Okay, so the only thing I lack, these can't be mailed until I get the um the watercolor. And I think the watercolors will be here, I think, tomorrow or the next day. And then everything will be complete. And then I can mail these out. I think so they all look the same, Jen. That goes there. 
And then we'll just stick that right there. Uh-oh, question about goats? Like the best way to cook them or what? Yeah, all the covers are the same. Everything's the same. Inside, outside, upside down, they're all the same. They're good barbecued on the grill. They're good in a pit. Yep. They're real good in a pit. Okay, so what I need to put in here are some of just stick some of these in here now. Whoopsie. Cabrito, yes. Jen said she'll take the last one. Hey, Tamar. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's right, Linda. I'm sorry. I forget. I forget Gail's a vegan. Yeah, don't be talking yeah. about stuff. You're gonna yeah. turn her yeah. stomach. You're gonna turn her stomach. Her stomach probably turns the same way when I hear the word "cook somebody cooking liver." Oh, I can, I can, I can identify. <laughs> I can identify. Okay, so. Like I said, I still have a few things to put in there, and I have the scraps. Uh, let me just do that here, because they're right here right now. Why do something different? Why, 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 why? Let me, let me see how much. Let me just cut, separate these. One, two, three. I'll just divide them and put them in each one of them. Oh, no, Elvis. You live in a scandalous little town. <laughs> How come? I mean, why do you say that? Because she's something about this weekend. They found three people from another country promised a student that pay his way through college. He disappeared 11 months with being used as a slave just down the road from Benny's vet. Oh, no. Goodness. That's crazy. Just put these in here. Those would be good for transfers or to um, um, paint on or whatever. 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 That'd be pretty cool. Okay. And then, anyway, so I'm glad I just needed, I was in the middle of all that. Before I went live, so I just wanted to finish that up. I need to cut a couple of pieces of canvas to put in there so that you can have um, a full piece of canvas to work on. That'll be an addition in there. And then I'll be just rummaging around, you know, to see if there's other stuff I want to put in there. So let me get these off the table. Off the table, Rosemary. Off the table. Come here, my pretties. Elvis, do they play banjos in your woods? Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want to know. <clears throat> you do not want to know. Do, 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 do. <sighs> do you not have that art book in your Etsy? Because it wouldn't let Jen buy one. No, I don't have it in there because um, I don't have it in there. I'll do a, uh, I'll put a, uh, okay. I will put a custom order in there for you because if I just put it in there, 
I'm trusting you. Somebody else is going to go in there and buy it. So I'll put a, uh, tonight, after I'm done here, I'll put in a custom order for you. And I will message you in um, in the message there in Etsy. I will give you a link. Go to that link because anybody that uses that link, Etsy doesn't charge me as much, um, you know, points, percentage, whatever you want to call it. Why? I don't know, but that's just the way it is. So it's, it's helpful. It's a few pennies here and there helps. You know what I mean? Okay. So. <laughs> She wants some liver. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I would just work on a couple of pages on here until I get tired. <laughs> until I get tired. These are some scrap overs. And these are some pictures I want to put in there. Here are some cards. This is for the... Um, <laughs> Boy, that's one liver loving dog. Well, Betty's waiting for it to cool off. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> well, better that than get, you know, hot lips. Hot lips. Okay, so these are some of the papers I already picked out to put in here because this is for the um, the red onion and it came up. You can do it purple or you can make it green. So, so I, that's the colors pretty much I went with. I went looking through some of my old scrapbook papers. I didn't have really anything that went with it. I kind of liked that one with it because I like that, that um, couch. And I forget who, <laughs> whose paper that is. What? <laughs> wow. I picked this one because I like the couch. I do. I think it's so cute. I have never picked a piece of scrapbook paper because of the couch. Oh, but look at the couch. I probably wouldn't either if it weren't for that particular couch. It's very, very Victorian looking. I love it. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know whose paper that is. Don't ask. <laughs> and plus it's really old. So years and you're probably like five years old. So I That's a divan, <laughs> not a couch. What? No, that's not a lounger. Come on, guys. Don't you know a couch from a duvet? That has two arms, an arm on either end. That's a couch. A duvet does not have that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. I remember <laughs> I was like 20 years old. Mm. The first time I heard somebody... This lady, she said, Am I <laughs> on the Is that what the lady said? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first oh, that Susan ever got. <laughs> she, was she was talking about her divan. And I'm like, What is that? She said, It's a couch. I said, Oh. <laughs> but she also used to. When she'd go grocery shopping, she'd say, oh, I got to stop on the way home and make groceries. <laughs> and my uncle caught a heart attack. <laughs> like, so give her some liver. <laughs> Blow it. <laughs> Put it in the freezer for 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Ann says or is it a sofa? <laughs> well, yeah, it could be a sofa. It depends what part of the country you live in. Okay. I'm just going to. Just for that. That's all I'm doing. So where 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 did I leave you guys on the saga of my the painters over here? What was the last uh, the last uh, in, bit of info I gave you guys? Or did I? Did I give you info? I don't know. I think you were scared. I was scared. <laughs> oh, no. I don't remember. Well, so, okay. So, this guy, Brandon, was supposed to be coming out. 
Um, Who's he's, Frail? Who's who? Linda's grandma's name is Frail. Frail? How cute. <laughs> oh, I love when dogs talk. <laughs> oh, Gail. Gail. Oh, okay. I well, said Frail. Care. My grandma called it. I thought she was saying Frail, my grandma. Oh. The boss was coming over. I like Frail better. Let's change her name. <laughs> Grandma Frail. Grandma Frail. Where are you going? Grandma Frail's house. I like that. Okay. Grandma Frail and Papa Fragile. <laughs> I do like that. Um, okay. I don't even know where that goes now, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. Short attention span. What? The boss was coming over. Oh, um, okay. So, uh, they were going to send, I guess, like their troubleshooter or something that comes and checks that field supervisor. I don't know. So, he comes and he was very nice. And we showed him all, all the stuff that wasn't done and what we were upset about. And, he understood, and he says, we'll take care of it. We're going to make it all right, and blah, 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 blah. Hey, Jane. And, and we said, fantastic, hun hunky dory And uh, then he calls me uh, yesterday, I guess it was. And, you know, sometimes you think about, you know, when somebody says something, you have one reaction, and then when you have time to think about it, you change your reaction. <laughs> I had one of those moments with him. Um, he uh, he said, you know, they were going to come out, and he told me what guy was going to come out. And because they're really backlogged right now, it would take a little while. I said, well, that's fine. You know, they're not going to get paid until it gets done anyway, so it's all right. No big deal. Um, but then... Okay, now I'll have to give you names so you can follow the follow the story. The guy that came out to check things out, his name is Brandon. And the guy that was out here initially that was supposed to um, do, do the job, his name is Nam. And Nam is the one that didn't do what he was supposed to do or instruct his, he had two other guys here, didn't instruct them to do what they were supposed to do. Okay, so, so he says they're coming out and he says, I just have one request. Um, if Nam can come out, um, so that, oh, and the guy that's going to come out and do the actual work, his name is Stormy. <laughs> I love his name. Stormy's coming out. So Brandon wanted to know if it was okay if Nam came out. Hey, Brenda. With, with Stormy to do the job. So Stormy could show Nam what he did wrong and, you know, what he should have done. So initially, I'm thinking, well, I don't care either way, you know, as long as Stormy is the one that is supervising and gets it done, because we're not going to pay you until, you know, it's done correctly. So I don't care who does it as long as it's done correctly. So that was my gut reaction. But then the more I thought about it overnight and in the morning, I'm thinking, why the heck should I let the guy come out that didn't do his job? Let him back on my house and give him a chance to screw up again. And why should I be teaching this guy, let my house teach this guy how to do the job he already should know how to do? I don't feel I should be a learning experience for this guy. Am I wrong or am I right? <laughs> I think you're being a little bitchy about it, but it's... <laughs> well, I mean, I thought that too, maybe. But the more I thought about it, I said... You know, this guy did me wrong, and now they want me to let him come back. But maybe, maybe, maybe Stormy. Is Stormy the one that screwed it up? No. Nam. Nam's the one that screwed it up. Okay, so maybe Stormy is bringing Nam out there for his year in review. Well, he should have ended his review when they looked at my house. It's over. 
I, I swear, if I owned a company, I'm serious now. If I owned a company and a person did that, I would think they're not qualified for the job and I would either demote them or I would not hire them anymore. Because because if one of two things, and I told this to Brandon, I told him, I said, one of two things, he's incompetent or he lied to both you and me telling us that the job had been completed. Either way, you know, either way, it's not good. But anyway, that that's that's where my head was at. It was like, wait a minute, how dare you ask me to have him come back after I told you what a crummy job he did, and now I'm supposed to be his educator? My house is supposed to allow him to have a learning experience? Well, like Gail said, it could be a relative of the boss. Well, too bad. I, that's, that's still my house. Elvis said it depends if Stormy has windy eyes. <laughs> I don't care if Stormy comes. He, he's the good guy. Name is the one that messed up, not Stormy. Stormy's coming either way. It's the other guy I have an issue with. But, oh well. And he even said, you know, if you don't want him to come, let me know. Because initially, the whole point was, we told them, you know, we want it done right. And we do not want that same crew coming out. Well, Nan was the head of that crew. So why should I, you know, I, I think what aggravated me was that he even asked me when I specifically told him I didn't want them back. And then he wants to know if he can come back. Well, I already told you I don't want him back. But part of I don't want him back, do you not understand? I didn't say that. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't have the guts to talk to people like that, but I sure think that way. <laughs> I think I'll put that over. I think I'll put that over. Anyway, that was my thought. And I'm holding to it. <laughs> oh, that looks better on that color. Okay, let's put this down. Let's put this puppy down. See what happens. When Gail stormed the mm -hmm. the the banker on the Lucille Ball show, Mister Mooney. Gail storm, maybe. Or was that Gail Gordon? I don't know. For some reason, I think Gail Storm is on a really, really old show, too. But it was a girl. That's what, yeah, that's what somebody else but said. I can't remember what show that was. I mean, like, from the 50s old. Um, what was that show? I think one was a guy and one was a it girl. Was Mama Margie. Oh, there you go. I knew. Oh, yeah. See, Gail Gordon. Okay, Gail Gordon. Yeah, two Gales, different spelling of the Gale, right? One's a guy. Yeah. One's a, yeah. So my husband, he's been having trouble with his. That's another thing that got me aggravated. <laughs> I guess I've been getting aggravated lately. Um, there was a section on the roof we couldn't see. 
you had to get up on the roof to see it. And so I think I told you last week, I got mad at my husband because he went out on the roof to go check it out. And he hurt his shoulder again because he already has a bum shoulder. So we had to go to the doctors today to the orthopedic guy. And he gave him this shot on his shoulder. And, um, and my husband goes, well, that made me feel pretty good. You know, it worked pretty fast. And then we come home and we were going to eat and he took his sugar. He, we haven't even eaten because we had early appointment and we don't like to eat early. So his sugar was all the way to 145. I mean, 245. I said, Richard, was that a cortisone shot he gave you? And he goes, yeah. I said, don't you remember the other doctor said he wouldn't give you one of those because on it makes your sugar go up, diabetics. It will spike their sugar. He goes, oh, no. He goes, I forgot. So his sugar was like, Whoa. And I'm thinking, okay, if the guy has done his pain, if Nam has done his job, my husband would not be out on the roof like some kind of an idiot. And he wouldn't be getting his cortisone shots and he wouldn't be sugar spiking. <laughs> sucks so yeah so that was all contributing factors to <clears throat> why i was getting a little perturbed about about the whole it says it will spike but it won't last very long well he got it he got it around nine o'clock in the morning and what time is it now i think it was when did i drop him off a little before six it was still over 200 and he hadn't eaten anything that you know, normally spikes him. So that was that. Why do you guys make doctor's appointments at nine o'clock in the morning? He normally doesn't, but that was the only opening, and his shoulder was killing him. Or else he'd had to wait like two weeks. So he says, "I gotta take that." I said, "Okay, let's do it." Oh, she said, "No, she means only a few days." <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> And he wants it to take him like once a month for a while. And I'm thinking, well, well, we'll see. Linda said it put her hubby in the hospital with ketoacidosis. Yeah, it can do that. That's why. You got to be careful. Just a spoonful of sugar will do that, too. <laughs> well, fortunately, he doesn't do that. But Oops, where are they going to put that? Over here. I think that would look kind of cool over here. Man, these colors don't show up at all. This is a beautiful, beautiful purple. No, it's a beautiful lavender purple color. These colors look horrible there. They're so pretty. Man, Ooh, I'm getting chilly. Hold on. Oh, I think I forgot to put the heater on in here. One second. The water is getting chilly. Oh, yes. Let's put that little puppy on. Let's get more. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Gail said, yes, please put the Peter on Rosemary on coat. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I know. I told Betty, I said, is the heater on? It's been on for a couple of days. I said, it hasn't even got cold yet. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know, I okay. ordered a Shih Tzu through, the, through, the, through Amazon. Mm -hmm. And... um. It, it wasn't a Christmas present or anything, but it was in a nice box and it had like the the handle that comes out of the top so you can walk around with it, whatever. They 
threw a label on that box, delivered it, and set it on my front porch. A shih tzu foot massager? Yeah. Yeah. A heater massager. Yeah, shih tzu heater foot massager. But they didn't put it in a box or nothing. So if that would have been a Christmas present, well, there it is sitting on my front porch. In the, <laughs> like you just walked in the store and picked it up off the shelf. <laughs> I know, Gail. I was going, where is she going with this? Or I thought you were setting us up because like a real dog. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm waiting for the punchline. <laughs> no. Shih tzu. Not a dog. <laughs> A vibrator, a massager, foot massager. Regardless, they should have packaged it up, is my point. Especially at Christmas time when people are ordering Amazon. You don't just go, yeah, that too, Gail. That's what I said, a shih tzu, shih tzu, shih tzu. <laughs> Yeah, you were saying a dog. You didn't order a dog. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was not a dog. Let's yeah, see. I could I could say it's a gift. And then I can do like APG and put from your secret internet admirer. <laughs> Is she here? Yeah. <laughs> You're vicious. Before you place your order, there is an option to hide in Amazon packaging. Well, I would just assume that they would know, it's like freaking Christmas time. This might, she might be getting somebody a foot massager for Christmas. <laughs> I don't know, APG. I think it's your hubby. Isn't she a highfalutin little little hussy? Okay, so I've had a couple of people here and a couple of people privately saying they want, I've had like about maybe four people, that they want some encaustic journals, but nobody's telling me what kind, like what theme. I've asked a few and they go, whatever you want to make. So maybe you guys can throw me out some themes. Dance, 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 dance. Dance. <laughs> <laughs> what the? I hear, I hear a lot. Uh oh. <laughs> what? Okay, that was very odd if I may say so myself what was that noise you that wasn't me oh my gosh how come when you left it stopped well I don't know <laughs> but your voice went very far away it was very loud here it you it was like you had me on some kind of feedback speaker, and anything I said, I heard it double. <laughs> I, did, I did not have anything. <laughs> yeah. Blame it on the Shih Tzu. <laughs> that was Sophie begging for liver. <laughs> no, I don't think that was a liver call we heard. Hey, Allie. 
they could hear you and the noise. Yeah, so could I. No, that's what they said. I know. I could too. We all heard it. Okay, what am I going to put on it? Linda said, did you hear 10-4? I thought it was Richard. <laughs> well, because it sounded it sounded like a, a what do you call it? A, a police call when it started backing up. So I said 10-4, 10-4. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what it sounded like. Hey, 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 Gail. Hey, 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 Jean. Hey, Linda. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Sally, Fern, Ruth, and 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 Carol, and Donna, and CJ, and Pinky, Leslie, Leslie. Hey, Allie. Hey, Ann. Hey, Linda. Linda, you already said hey, but hey again. <laughs> Hey, Linda. Hey, Elvis. Hey, Amber. Amber ain't here, but hey, Amber. <laughs> She's working, isn't she? I think so. Nights, right? Hello. Hey, and hello, APJ. Hey, Stasia. Hey, girl. Hey, hey, hey. She's working night shift. Hey, 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 Brenda. Hey, Roseanne. Gonna be some sweet times coming on the night shift. Who's on the night shift? Amber. Oh, how soon I forget. Oh, 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 oh. Here. Or she needs to be on white and white. So the other day, Betty said. I have some stuff coming. I'm expecting a, de a delivery, and don't you be looking. <laughs> and the first thing you do. <laughs> don't be looking. I was like, do I leave all this on the porch? <laughs> or, or do that man had to make three trips. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Wow. Don't peek. That is stuff. Well, I think she meant don't open, right? That's peak. Well, if they deliver anything like the shit to us, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> No, she, she got the, she got the, she got the girls these, um, these colorful. It's a, a box with the little drawers and the sections and all of that, and she got them glue and she got them glitter and she got them Aww. all kinds of markers and pencils and paints and now she's going upstairs and stealing all the beads and all the stuff you don't use. But I had plans for it. When? I sent her a note yesterday because they sent me an email congratulating me on my 18-year anniversary. And I mm. told her, I said, I ought to be able to retire. She said, you would be bored. I said, well, maybe I'll pick up a hobby like crafting or something. <laughs> <laughs> At the very least, buying, buying stuff to craft with. Exactly. <laughs> That could be a full-time job right there. That's nuts. What was your answer? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. 
Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. I don't know what she did the other day to make me mad. I said, why don't you just, 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 just go sit at the table and put together one of them journals or something? <laughs> 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 why don't you just get busy? Go do something. Go tear up some paper and make some handmade paper. <laughs> That's crazy. And then she bought them. Um, she bought these packages of stencils. Well, there must have been like 50 something stencils. And she's like, go through these and see which ones you, if you want any out of here. Well, I think the kids ended up with like six. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, I don't want to take all the. No, no, no. I know you would pick some out. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> And so you're going to use those when you retire? Yeah. Plan? Okay. What is world she's in? That's right, Gail. I'm stocking up for when I retire. Jeez Louise. She's got a whole room of that kind of stuff. I'm going to hold a leaf back sale. Big They'll sue you because you can't ever make it to the post office. <laughs> I know. I'm going to ship that out. I'm going to ship that out. <sighs> what was it you ordered? She told me she was making me a pile. I know a pile of what? <laughs> pile of crap. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Then she pulled out this container. Oh, you don't even have to leave the house. You got pirate ship. I know. <laughs> and, and I have a digital scale. Oh, well, there you go. I don't know what your guy's problem is. And paper. <laughs> the man that came to the door with the dolly three times, he can get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't pet that dog. <laughs> they pick it up. You don't even have to go anywhere. Is she hanging herself? No. Oh my what is she doing? Gosh. From here, it looks like she's like putting a noose around her neck. Oh, I still don't know what she's doing. I know she's not strangling herself. That's okay. all I care about. Okay. Hey, where the other piece go? Come on, Rosemary. How do you lose stuff? There you go. APG said finishing up a golf swing. <laughs> 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 Did anybody give me any suggestions? For what? I didn't look at uh, what I'm supposed to, my themes for my encaustic journals. Oh. Nobody pays attention to me. Maybe they did say something and I thought they were just weird and I didn't say it out <laughs> loud. <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, thank you. I don't think anybody heard you ask. No, oh, see, nobody pays attention to me anymore. I'll just keep working. Just pretend I'm not here. APG said fruit and thorns. <laughs> Y'all don't remember you asking. APG said, huh? Oh, never mind. Jean said, encaustic Frida. I'll just do whatever I want to do. <laughs> and then when people complain, how come you didn't do blah, blah, blah? Because you didn't mention it. 
Ostasia heard, but she didn't comment. Watermelon lemonade. Okay, never mind, you guys. Never mind. Oh, Linda said it was when the noise started and we forgot. <laughs> APG said, I didn't hear, but I'm full of ideas now. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of now. <laughs> Sasha said, honestly, I really don't know what encaustic is. Ah. It's basically um, working with, um, with encaustic waxes. It's a wax um, gizmo. And I make um, journal covers with it. Now, the little part I want to get is too small. I'm going to have to use scissors. I'll show you one in a second. Brenda heard, but since she's driving, she's limited. <laughs> I tap and talk. Well, at least I wasn't imagining asking. At least I know I did ask. Painting with colored wax. Brenda said, you need to go back to what you said when you were talking about everybody said, just do whatever you like. What? <laughs> what does that mean? He's driving. Leave her alone. <laughs> okay. I like your idea. I don't want to upset her. Make her crash. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> How about baskets and dolls creep Shannon out? Oh, gosh. She's not even going to see it. Do you put dolls in a basket? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, maybe I should just use my own ideas. <laughs> Sasha <laughs> said, I've heard you mention it lots of times, but I never really knew what it was. Oh, okay. Mucha, what is Mucha? Mucha would be pretty. She's talking about the artist. Oh. Gail don't get putting wax on books, but whatever. I thought it was a cast. What are you doing, little girl? I thought it was like like plaster. What, encaustic? Yeah. No. Well, then I really don't know. I'm with you, Stasha. <laughs> Put over and let me on that bus. You can do the two mediums together, but that's not what encaustic is. Well, see, every time you pour those out, I thought those were like like plaster. No. Well, then I'm <laughs> stupid. I guess I've never held an encaustic. Okay, hold on. We're going to have encaustic 101. I need a break. Where are those little puppies? But I know that you need to do it in a ventilated area if you use honey, honey beeswax. That's right. Yeah, beeswax, and. It's Encaustic. lethal. Huh? It's lethal. Okay, so I usually make a journal, you know, the regular five by eight or so, a regular type journal. Uh, let, let's say, well, this isn't five by eight, but let's just say this is five by eight. <laughs> I make a journal, and then on a canvas board, I do encaustic. I do encaustic work. And then I put it on the, the front of, you know, one way or another, not just put it on there, but 
Um, let's well, more visualize it. It's probably that size of a journal. <laughs> size right here. Um, and so what you do, the way these are made, is you have a board. I will, this is a canvas board. And then um, you put a coat of encaustic gesso on there. And then after you do that, then you decide what kind of images you're going to be using, whether you're going to use an image, you're going to do transfers, you're going to draw, you're going to paint, whatever it is you're going to do. And you do that on the, on the board. And then you put layers of enc encaustic wax over it. And then you can put on top of that, then you maybe, you know, like first I'll put one thing and then I'll put a layer of the wax. And then you put maybe the next picture. So there might be three, four layers of wax on here. And then that helps give dimension to the, to the things that are there. You can stamp on it. You can scribble on it. You can do all kinds of stuff on it. And uh, so the one that I, I have that creepy right, face. This is the uh, one that's my personal one. So on this one. You can see the background. I have like one of those old, um, what do you call it? Um, checks back in the back. And then I have some other text back here. Kind of hard to see it right now. So that was one layer. And then I put um, a feather. That was another layer. Then I put some eucalyptus leaves, another layer. And um, then I... On the top of all that, I just cut out something from a magazine and put that on there and then made a bunch of lines coming out of those flowers. And then I gilded those with some, some silver, silver leaf. And then I bolted, screwed on that, that panel. This is a panel right here. And then screwed it on to my book cover that I made. So that's kind of in a nutshell. Um, you know. And so um, just to differentiate between wax and encaustic. Encaustic has resin in it. So it's hard. Um, it, I mean, they still find things that were made thousands of years ago that had encaustic over them because it helped protect and it hardens over the years. So it isn't like the soft wax that you have on a, on a candle or a beeswax or anything like that. It, it, and it gets harder over time. And so, um, when, when you get these journals, um, the top, the top layer tends to get a little bit of, Fog, foggy look but that's because it's hardening and all you have to do is get a soft rag like you know like a old sock or something and you can buff that up like see these would probably buff up right now although these these are already cured pretty good but let's see if we get any of that milkiness off of there oh I can see it getting shiny right now hold on Stashi said so the resin hardens the wax yeah Woo! See that shine now? Hello. Hello. Woohoo. Okay. Let's let's clean this one up a little bit, see what it does. And I have a whole workshop of how to do um encaustic. I'm not sure if I have it live right now in my shop. I forget. Um, but I have a whole workshop of how to do this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See how shiny that is now? Very cool. See, hard as a rock. Because <laughs> I remember a while back, I was, well, a couple of years ago, I was talking about putting them on the cover. And someone says, you can't do that. It'll, you know, it won't hold up. I'm thinking, it holds up for thousands of years. Why will it not hold up on the front cover of a book? 
But, you know, it was just unconventional. I hadn't really seen anybody doing it on covers of books. Probably well, maybe they're doing it wrong. Well, they've, you know, they, I don't know. Maybe they just thought it was too delicate. It's not delicate at all. It's very, <clears> oh, <throat> it shined up quite a bit there. Look at that. Woohoo! You get a little foggy. A little foggy there. Mmm. Yummy. Okay. So that's what encaustic is. And whenever I've made them, you know, they sell really fast. So I thought, well, if they're going to sell, I might as well make something that people really want. And nobody knows what they want. So I'm just going to make what I want to. So there. I'm just going to assume this is what they want. I'm just going to make what I like. If nobody wants it, they don't have to get it. That's right. I'll just look at it for the next year. <laughs> I'll just look at it. Do I have any other ones? I don't think so. I think that's all I had. I had a couple that I never did finish. What do I do with those? Oh, here's one. Oh, this is even on a book. Hello. Oh. I have too much stuff, guys. I'm telling you. Oh, this needs to be buffed up. Okay, so this one's already on a book. And this Resin one. and cocaine. <laughs> this one needs to be rebuffed. This is ready for me to put signatures in. Rosemary, what is your problem? Ooh, that one looks kind of pretty. That one's kind of pretty. That one's ready to go. Hello, anybody home? <laughs> Let me see if I can brighten that up a little bit. You need to get one of them shoe shine rags. I think so. Knock, knock, McFly, anybody home? Whoa, whoa, here we go. Whoopsie. So, is encaustic supplies expensive? Um, uh, okay. The short answer, I think, is yes. Um, when I offered the, um, that's why the reason I took it down, because when I offered the workshop, I also offered a kit so that you didn't have to buy all the stuff. You could get the kit. And if you already had stuff, well, then you didn't have to buy the kit. You know, you could just buy the workshop. So I just, I put enough in there for you to make two, two of these. I put, you know, I basically put everything in there. For you to to make it and that way if you liked it well then you could go and buy all the you know all the stuff because it does get expensive or it can oh look that one shined up really nice ha huh. and i was looking back on one of my old videos i mean way 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 back I did some with some autumn leaves and twigs. I, those came out pretty cool. I might try making another one of that type. You know, um, I might. You just never know. You just never know. I might do that. And then, hold on. Where is all that stuff? Man, 20 years are going to be talking about. That lady down there on 6th Street in that Victorian home, her husband never gets out of that chair on their front porch. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a mummy. <laughs> okay, so here is my, my thing that has most of my encaustic stuff. 
So this isn't encaustic. This is when we did the batik. So with the batik, you can use, you know, just the beeswax. That's what we used. So that's not for encaustic. And this is not for encaustic. This is when we did the beeswax. I mean, the, the uh, batik also, because you can, I did a mixture of soy and um, beeswax. And when I work with either one, I use this quite often. That heats everything up. And then I also have a griddle that I can put the little metal tins on there to heat things up. <clears throat> so you'd have to, you know, all that kind of stuff. Oh, here's my socks. I used to rub those down. <laughs> I forgot they were there. Um, oopsie. He fell off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch it. Um, and then this one has this one has a gauge that gives a temperature. You have to melt them at a certain temperature or else you'll start um, burning uh, the wax and the encaustic. They burn at different temperatures, so you have to regulate it. And then um, if you have a griddle type thing, um, this is good because it It'll, you can sit it on there and it'll give you more accurate because some of the griddles, they just have like high, medium and low or, you know, but even if they do have a temperature gauge, it's not real accurate. So this is pretty good if you're going to have a, what you call it, a, um, what did I just say? A griddle. And then I have these little tins uh, that I put my little, if I have different colors of waxes and stuff, I put them in there and then I just put it on the griddle or on this thing over here when I go to heat them up. And what's this? Oh, and then when you're putting color, I already put those away. When you're going to paint on them or use colors, you use the oil sticks. So I have these oil sticks here and all of these are also sticks uh, of different colors that I can use on there. Uh-oh, that goes in here. Anyway, those are fun. And these are not cheap, depending on the pigment. They're anywhere from, you know, $10 to $20. So at the, at the beginning, you don't need any colors at all. You don't need it. And if you're just playing around for yourself, you can even just use crayons. You know, you can melt those down and use those colors because you don't need a lot of color when you're doing this. Anyway, so that's, that's those. So that can get a little expensive. This is the encaustic medium. I think a thing like this is, I don't know what it costs now, maybe like 25 bucks or something like that. Um, so when I was doing the kit, I was filling one of these up with the encaustic, and that was enough um, to do two panels. Um, but anyway, so it does, you know, each thing may not be super, super, super expensive, but you can't just have, you know, you've got to have a little bit of everything. This is also uh, encaustic wax, but this is a white one because this is just clear, um, but this is white. And then these are the panels I use. Um, and then, you know, you have to have your brushes. Where are my brushes? My brushes are over there on another thing. You have to have some brushes that, you know, uh, can take the temperature. Is it toxic? The fumes are, yeah. Um, any Anything that gives off um, smoke, that's toxic. So if you put it at a certain temperature, it will start um, burning, and that's when it's toxic. That's why that regulator is so important. But you should always, you know, at the very least, have a, you know, a window open a little bit or a mask on. Or they also have these little table mounted um, fan filters. They run anywhere from, depending on the type you get, from $10 to up to $35. And it sucks the air into this little fan that has a filter. And then that eliminates you know those kinds of um, oops, um problems 
but I've never really had a problem because I just open up the window and have just a just a regular old little mask on, nothing you know, gigantic. Just just the ones we've all come to know. A COVID filter. And then uh, these are. And then you'll have tools that you only use for certain things. And these brushes are only used with the wax because you can see the wax is hardened on there. And but as soon as you, you know, put them there on your heat source, all the wax melts and the brush gets soft again. And so, you know, you just use them over and over and over. You don't. I don't ever clean them. I just leave them the way they are and then they just melt up again. So, but I do separate my encaustic ones from my beeswax ones because I, you know, if I'm just doing wax stuff, I don't necessarily want the encaustic and vice versa because the beeswax is very cheap and the encaustic is, is a little pricey. So, and that's about it. That's it in a nutshell. You too can be an encaustic artist. <laughs> what did you use the white for? The white? The white encaustic. Oh, just a piece of art. I needed uh, the color white on it. You know, I don't have it anymore. <laughs> it was another project. It's long gone. Where did you buy your wax sticks at? Um... Probably Amazon. The the company to get from is hold on is um, R and F or F and R. What's it called? It's initials. It's got initials. Oh yeah, R and F. I can't believe it. I was right the first time. I never write the first time. So. Like this one is brown pink. This one comes out really pretty. Brown pink. This one is gold. Oh, look at that. Look at that gold on there. That one comes out cool. Oh, she said, oh, R and F. Okay. I think you can get the cheaper ones from MR Ducks. What? <laughs> My wax sticks. Now these are not wax sticks. Just to be clear, I don't want me. I don't want to. They're color sticks. Guys. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. These have no wax in them whatsoever. These are pigments. These color. are colors. Yeah. And you can mix them with your wax, but these are not like wax pigment sticks. They're, yeah. They're oil based color sticks that can be used in a lot of different forms of art but but people that want to incorporate color into their encaustic work um use this use these pigments but if you're like a uh, um a uh what am i trying to say like an oil painter or something you could use these sticks in your oil in your works uh, ooh. This one is just plain old blue, but it's a beautiful blue. And this goes a long way, guys. Egyptian violet. Very pretty. Unbleached titanium. They're very similar, Jen. The, the Shiva, they're very, very, very similar. Um, except these pigments are much richer, much richer. Mm, this is Viridian, you know, like ver, like um, green, yeah, green, the green, yeah. Uh, and this is just green earth, 
this one I wasn't too well it's pretty but I really like this green more blue ochre I've never understood the concept of another color being an ochre color because I always thought ochre was the color and this is called blue ochre ochre then why would it be called yellow ochre that's a good question so I don't even know what ochre means then Look that up, Susan. What is what does ochre mean? You got a good point there. Why is it called yellow ochre? Huh, never thought about that one. Okay. And this is really this one's really cool. Indian yellow. Ochre. An earthly pigment containing ferric oxide, typically with clay. Varying from yellow, light, light yellow to brown or red. Hello, this is blue. Okay. And this is crimson. This one's very, very pretty, too. I like, I like that one a lot. But it says something that is ochre is a yellowish-orange color. So let me ask, can I have blue ochre? <laughs> I know there's green okra in the backyard. Hey, hey. This is a beautiful orange. You know, I love my oranges. And plain old white. Blue ochre, which has been improperly called native Prussian blue, is a native hydrated phosphate of iron of rare occurrence found with iron pyrites. Okay, so the common thing there is that it is certain thing that, um, chemicals of iron inside of the clay. That's what produces or why it's called ochre. Because of that certain component in the clay, I guess. And I don't know how to even pronounce this one. Still, still the green. Anyway, it's a pretty brown, a very pretty. It's got like, <coughs> I don't know, like a bronzy color to it. It's real pretty. Anyway, so those are my colors. Just to give you an idea. But there's oodles of colors. And remember, these are all oil. These are all oil sticks. Yeah. That's right. Pie right. Pie right. Pie right. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> See, Jen knows her stuff, but she still didn't explain the blue. <laughs> or did she? I don't know. <laughs> Gail said Vivianite is a rare mineral of hydrated iron phosphate that exhibits an intense dark blue color. And I'm going to start playing with my soldering, too. There's a lot of things I want to do. And look, this month is already, and it's already, one week is gone. And, you know, I didn't do any of the stuff I wanted to do in November, let alone December. I don't know what I'm going to do. Just don't know what I'm going to do. Some of this. I think what I want to do. Hold on. Oh wow, it's almost fits the whole thing. How exciting. They got happy about something. Slow down. Probably Wilson out there clanging in his garage. <laughs> Try 
Charlie, you're just a crap starter. That's my job. That's all he does. He just stirs it up. That they, is all, my job. they all run out the door to check it out. He turns around and comes back. You're like, <laughs> he's such a stinker. Such a stinker. Let me see. I like. Let me do some kind of a. I've been thinking of fried rice all day. I might have to go get some tomorrow. We've got a really good one close by. Night, APG. Night. Hey. I left the lid off and it kind of dried up. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Lick yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> you must think I'm one of your dogs or something. Lick it. Lick it. Lick it. <laughs> oh, my God. My boss sent an email. Lick it. <laughs> and he said, um, I'm out with the flu. I have a doctor's appointment. I'm like, this dude, I swear, he is sick, sicker. Oh. Always sick. Always <laughs> running to the doctor. Well, he's with people all the time, right? And then you send him you, Rosemary. you send him an email and his out of office response comes back and says, sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Annie Mame, I thought you was traveling. <laughs> she has internet while she travels. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Sick. Sick. That's what you need to make like a half a dozen deviled eggs. No, thank you. <sighs> Ooh, I haven't had a deviled egg since I was a kid. I had deviled eggs a couple weeks ago, but I love her deviled eggs. Oh, you know what I used to like? I don't know if I still would. You know, the like the deviled egg sandwich. Have you had those? I haven't had one of those since I was a kid. Now you're going to make me want to make one. My grandmother used to make them all the time for me. What is a bed potato, Brenda? Brenda's eating a bed potato with <laughs> butter, sour cream, <laughs> it, might, it might be baked. <laughs> and, and grilled poblano peppers. Hey, Devin. Smells like onions in here. <laughs> I think that's Susan's feet. <laughs> It's not my feet. <laughs> oh, I forget. She blames the dogs. <laughs> it's the dog's feet. <laughs> I didn't get to watch you today, Devin. I was out all day. Can you believe it? I was out all day long. It's hard to believe, but, but very true.
Mm-hmm. Deviled eggs are good. Yeah, they smell like Fritos, right, Gail? <laughs> Were you out shopping for tamale ingredients? No, I wish. I was doing adult stuff. Forget that. I know. I still might. I wonder how I could film it. I don't think I can film it. My crazy camera is screwed on <laughs> my ceiling. Well, don't you have a droid? Yeah. Okay, well, then just log into StreamYard from there. Oh. <laughs> yes. I don't have anything to put it on. And I can't do all this stuff with one hand. I can barely do it with two hands. Yeah. Okay. And are Richard's hands broke? Uh, what do you want him to do? Hold the camera. Oh, please. You could, you could just have him tie it to the ceiling and have it hanging down. <laughs> we have a 12 foot ceiling. I don't think that's going to happen. Remember, you'll end up getting in trouble like, uh, like Nam. Slow down. Who? A damn dog. <laughs> Still? No, she. Betty must have went out the back door because the the alarm bell rang and she took off running like somebody was coming in. And I guess my buddy's not around. I don't know where he's at. <sighs> I'm really starting to worry. Hey, have at it. Did I meow something wrong? You must have. <laughs> I think I must have meowed. Meowed wrong. You misunderstood what I was saying. Cobalt blue and reddish brown. Two pigments in blue ochre or cobalt blue and raw sienna. Oh. But we still beg the question, the ochre. The ochre. That's my hang up. I think I just feel like arguing or something. I think I think um what's his face got me in the mood to argue. I haven't quite let it go yet. <laughs> I still like the quinacridone. Yes, that's the prettiest. Absolutely. So, yeah, right. Right there. Right there. Gail said, from what she read, the term ochre is an English translation. Yeah, I think either I haven't received the definitive answer or I just don't understand the answer because I could not, if someone asked me, I couldn't answer them. So I still don't get it. Okay, so yesterday, it was very breezy, okay? Next door, you know, where the people used to throw their trash in my yard, they are gone. Right. But 
there was some noise over there day before yesterday. I could hear like a screwdriver and I could hear hammers and all kind of stuff stuff over there. Throwing things out. But the way my yard is and the fence in their yard, I couldn't see what they were throwing out. I could just hear all this commotion. So I go, okay, well, maybe they're fixing it up and blah, 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 blah. So then yesterday, my husband goes out on the porch to do something with the dogs. And there was smoke all down the alley and in our yard. And he didn't know, like, what the heck? Where's, what's all this coming from? So he goes over to where it looked like it might be coming from. And it was coming from next door. They had, we live in the city limits. They had a bonfire going on, burning whatever garbage that I guess they were taking out of the house with the wind blowing. First of all, it's illegal to do it in the city limits. Flames, they smoke. They sort of deputy dog. <laughs> and it was like everywhere. So my husband calls. And the fire department comes out and they, they extinguish it. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, that was that. So a few minutes later, Rich is on the phone talking to somebody about something. I don't know what. And I go out there to go throw some trash out. And, okay, we live on, on a 6th Street. And we share an alleyway with 5th Street. So in the alleyway, or in the back of a yard of one of the houses on 5th Street, there's a bunch of smoke coming out of the back. It's billowing out, blowing all over the place. Again, remember, it's windy, so the it, it's flaming up the flames. And anyway, so I go into the house, and I said, Richard, stay calm. We have another fire. <laughs> he goes, what? So he calls them up. He goes, we have another fire. And uh, so they come out, and they have a privacy fence. So they had to hop the privacy fence, go in there, and put out the fire. It looked like they were just burning stuff, and nobody was home. They, they went to the front door first. Nobody was home. They left the fire unattended. And, you know, between the wind and everything else, it was like whipping around. And it and the um, the fireman said it was only about about four feet from the wood fence. I mean, if we hadn't called in the fence part of causing fire and then, you know, anyway. So I don't understand these people. First of all, it's illegal where we live. And second of all, it was windy. I don't think they watch the commercials, you know, about when to burn and when not to burn. So anyway, so that was the excitement for yesterday. At least do it in a barrel. Huh? At least do it in a barrel. Yeah, but even that, sparks fly all over the place in the wind. It floats up in the air and, you know, everything is dry here right now. All the dead leaves everywhere. Well, I thought you'd have had all those cleaned up by now. If they keep falling. Our trees are still full of leaves. They haven't all fallen down yet. Every time the wind blows, they've got more leaves you got to rake up. Uh, oh, Devin said one of our neighbors decided to burn his weeds and his rubber mulch caught on fire and burned the siding of their house. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Rubber mulch. <sighs> People just have no sense, that's all. Oh, yeah. This is true. This is very true. I think if I put a backing, this would, like, make a cute little flipper rooney so Let me put some backing on that first. How about this one? Remember the... um. Um, the collage we did from the Renaissance. Yeah, some of that on there. That 
or should I do the horsey? Should I do the horsey part? And you still have it, or did you just print it out? I printed it out, yeah. It's there in the group if anybody wants it. It's quite a few collages, actually. If you're there in the group, you can print those out. They're there for you guys. Oh, it's about time for y'all to go get all those leftover calendars. Yeah, I haven't been. I haven't been to go check it out or anything. I think I need to. Oh, Anne? Hmm? You watch too many videos and get too many ideas, and you have too many ideas in your head. <laughs> yeah, but Anne's quick. She gets an idea, and then she gets all her stuff in. She does a live and then she's done and she's off to the next project. I can't even, I can't get any projects done. But she still hasn't finished the Renaissance kit. Well, she's just taking her time. It's special. It's special. Whoopsie. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do in January. <laughs> Good Lord. <sighs> the pressure. The pressure of it all. <laughs> what are you going to do, Rosemary? What's it going to be? What's it going to be out? What's the thing? What are we making? I don't know. Leave me alone. You, you guys didn't give me no ideas. <laughs> <laughs> for sure they didn't give me any for my encaustic stuff. Good night, Gail. Bunch of crickets. I agree to have supper. I didn't have supper either. I think technically I didn't have lunch because when I got home, I made me an omelet. So all I've had is breakfast at around around 1.30. <laughs> I had a cup of ramen. Mm -mm. Don't say that. It makes me think of the rice again. I think I just might have to buy some tomorrow. I do believe. So and we had hamburgers delivered the other night, and I, it, they were the so hot, 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 spicy, hot. Really? I don't know what the heck happened to those burgers, but they were so spicy hot. I don't know if it was in the comeback sauce or if it was on the... I don't know, but it was... They were hot. But was it good hot? No, I don't like hot. Oh. Well, I mean, the bur the burgers tasted good, but every time you took a bite, you had to, like, put some iced tea in your mouth and swish it around and... <laughs> it was for me. Ooh, look what Devin had. A baked potato at Wendy's? Yeah, they have them. I've seen them there before. With the fixins. With the fixins. I see where they sell um, Wendy's chili in the store now. Not something I would rush out to find. I've never had their chili. They put it on one of their salads. Oh, no. 
I don't think I can handle that. Betty gags when you talk about hot lettuce. <laughs> I put lettuce in my pozole. It's yeah. really good. Huh? It, Wendy's taco salad has chili in it. Mm. Okay, then. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to put a piece of fabric on that. Oh, I found me a recipe for Mexican street corn pasta salad. Is that a thing? It sounds so American. I don't know, but I'm going to yeah. try it. It's probably a made-up thing. That's what we need the cotijo cheese for, babe. Hello. What did you say it was called? Mexican street corn pasta salad. I've been craving Swiss steak and mashed potatoes. I'm thinking you need to start cooking. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really thinking you need to start cooking. <sighs> I made cornbread for lunch yesterday. Mmm, that sounds good. good. I was going to eat it with my goulash. 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 Hey, man, you didn't tell me what time it was. What time is it? It's after nine. Cornbread is good stuff. I know. I almost got some mix today. But Richard can't eat it. I don't like eating stuff he can't eat. It takes all the fun out of it. Because it's like I got to go hide or something. <laughs> <laughs> or at least you can't sit there and go, oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he says he doesn't care. But it bothers. I think it bothers me more than it bothers him. That's like when Betty's stepdad, the vet, told him that their old dog couldn't have ice cream anymore and he would feel so bad. So at night he'd make him a big bowl of ice cream and go sit out in his truck and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true love. I mean, he could have put the dog in the, in the truck <laughs> till he was done. But no, he put himself in there. Art Wolf. Wow, I put a lot of glue on there. I'll let that dry. Oh, that's really got dry. Too much glue, but it'll stick good. It'll stick real good. Okay, that's it for now. All right, so what I'm going to do when we get off, I'm going to put those listings on there, and then I will give uh, on. Oh, do I have? Wait a minute. Hello. Oh, I went blank. Who wanted the other one? I went blank. I went blank. Susan. Jen Startlandia. 
Okay. Okay, do I, do I already have a line of message with you over there or not? Sometimes they clear them up also. Hold on, let me look. Oh, man, why does it want me to do that? Do you know that my credit card... Um, okay, let me tell you this story now. So I went to go in to my checking, and it wouldn't let me in. It said that it didn't recognize this device. It's the only computer I use. It didn't recognize it. And even when I punched in, you know, everything that, you know, my name and password and all that kind of stuff, it still wouldn't let me in. It locked me completely out. And it was Friday after everything was closed. Had to wait the whole weekend. So then on Saturday, I think it was, Richard goes to get something on Amazon and said it didn't recognize our device, his device, which he gets stuff all the time, locked us completely out of there. In the meantime, over the weekend, there were several places that I have automatic payment with. StreamYard is one of them and my phone and just happened. There was like three or four of them that needed to go through over the weekend and they kept emailing me. We're going to have, I forget what they were saying. Anyway, they, you were turned down by blah, blah, blah. Because everything was just locked up. It wasn't until today I got it all straightened out. That was pretty crazy. So I don't know what happened. I'm using the same computer. And uh, it just didn't recognize me at all. I was like, who are you? Devin said, were you on a different browser? Sometimes her hubby uses DuckDuckGo and it won't process payments. Oh. oh, like if you use Chrome or you use, um, Explorer or something like that. Oh, I see. Mm hmm. Okay, so let me look here on listings. Uh oh. messages here we go or you can just send me one and start a whole new chit chat if you want oh, if I don't if it doesn't show up uh oh See, that's what happened. We don't have last names. I don't know. I got several gens. I need a last name. Now I Art forgot. Landia. I forgot who was who. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's see. I got, yeah, I got too many here. She's Jennifer Dalton. Too many. I've got like six or seven. Dalton. Okie dokie. Hold on. Because you know my brain. Okay, there she is. So I don't have to worry. I will send you a link when it's up. Thank you very much. And please use the link. Thank you very much. It helps me a great deal. A great deal. Okay. So. Um, what was I going to say? I'm going to say something. I can't remember what it was. Anyway. We will see you tomorrow. I have no idea what we'll do, but we'll do it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. Yeah. We're going to do that tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to do that tomorrow for sure. 
<laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> Good night, Annie Mame. You definitely do not. Oh, this goes to the other journal. You definitely do not want to miss the excitement. I'm over. I'm overjoyed at the moment of, of what we're going to be doing. <laughs> Completely overjoyed. You get this mess out of here. All right, ladies, you take care. I think quite a few of us are going to be in the path of a storm. Uh oh. Um. Uh. Starting some some parts of the country starting um Thursday, and it's going to work its way across all the way till. I guess Sunday when it by the time it gets to the East Coast. So be careful, stay dry, and um, I hope you don't use lose the internet because <laughs> that's what will you do over the weekend without the internet. <laughs> oh, I hear the dogs outside. That means my husband must be home. Woo! I gotta go figure out what we're gonna eat. All right, thanks again, ladies, for showing up and keeping us company, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Bye and stream.